I'm Pamela Roy Lance, and I played the role of Sarah Carter. Uh, Mrs. Carter? Uh, oh, uh, yes. Certainly, Mrs. Olson. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and it was fascinating because Michael was careful about who he was blending together. So he chooses Stan, who really had some physical similarities to Michael. Um, he chooses me, similarities to Karen. I'm going, well, that was clever. So it's easier for the audience to embrace that. Nice people, the Carters. That they were. And then where he diverts is he has two boys. He doesn't go with two girls. What a great shift that is. Now we have boy energy in the house. We have boy antics. We have boy trouble. We've got that in the house. So that's, it was a great way to go. Jason, Jeb, you heard me. Well, he took my pencil box. Because it broke my slate. It wasn't on purpose. It was, too. We'll discuss whose fault it was later. My two favorite episodes were Sins of the Fathers and The Last Summer. The Last Summer, I, when I read it, I cried. I thought, what a beautiful, beautiful episode. Uh, I think Jeb is giving me the first gift of the um, bird feeder, I think. And then Stan comes from behind and lays that gorgeous the, the water and the, the bowl, which is, was beautiful. And then Jason. I got my own gift. Happy birthday, Ma. Why, thank you, Jason. Well, that he's so proud, so ready to share with me. And it was a role that a lot of fans had trouble with and, and a role that, you know, she's being a tough mother. Don't you like it? Jason, a uh, brooch like this. It's far too expensive a gift. And a jealous mother, truly. It's hard when you realize you're someone else is teaching your son how to fly fish, teaching him how to sit a horse, teaching him how to run a house. And it's just, and, and of course the beauty of it is the, the, the viewer is seeing the truth, but Sarah isn't. She's not seeing all of this, the beauty of what is happening. Well, what do you want me to do? So working with David Friedman, who played my youngest son, Jason Carter, was truly the gift of a lifetime. He was such a, a clear, focused young actor and give you natural tears and, and natural emotions that would just take you wherever the script was supposed to take you. I love you, Ruthie. In The Sins of the Fathers, there's a moment where my father, Elliot Reed, has already ruined the life of one of the townspeople because he insisted on writing gossip uh, brought to him by um, Harriet Olson. Um, after our conversation uh, yesterday evening, I went right home and I wrote this little article that I thought uh, possibly you could use. <laughs> and he, he insists on writing this article and putting the truth out there that there is this alcoholic in our midst. Well. I think it's after that that I finally have the strength to talk to my father. You have no right to do that. I have every right. I'm your father. Well, you're everybody's father, aren't you? Mama's, mine, John's, everybody's. Everybody has to do what you say. I, I, Michael Lennon definitely got it. He definitely understood family dynam da dynamics. He understood friend dynamics. He understood how to write for that. Where I come from, we do not split infinitives. Oh, uh, uh, well, it must be just a little oversight on my part, uh, Elliot. Is it all right if I call you Elliot? <laughs> no. Oh. And I am so upset that he's not told me, frankly, that my mother had died. And I had, would have had time to go be with her. He, has, he wants to take me away from this life that I do love and these people who I love. But I like the open air and the cornfields in the springtime, cows wandering loose through the middle of town. Yeah, you know, there's something magical in a place like this. And it's that moment where she finally, Sarah, gets the wherewithal and the strength to stand up to him. Is that the kind of nonsense life in this prairie town has taught you? It's taught me independence. It's taught me that I'm not your little girl anymore. I'm a grown woman with a husband and two children. 
it was a great moment to stand up to him, but it was a beautiful moment to have been given the opportunity to tell him goodbye. Daddy. And have him, and tell him I love him, and have him reach his hand out for mine and take my hand and tell me he loves me. You know, that's, that's powerful, great writing. I love you too. And a lot of people tell me that's their favorite episode of mine. We meet people with this whole 50th celebration. We meet people all over the country. And they, they say similar things. They say, it's the best show on TV. It's, I watch it all the time. I have it on a continuous loop. It's never not airing in my house. I don't even focus on it. It's just there and it's comforting to me. I'm proud that I am a member of the whole cast who did include us, still includes us, and we're an active part of this group of people who um, get to meet people around the country and say, yes, I'm a part of Little House. I did get to do that. It, it does make me proud.